Hi edgies, thank you for watching the replay and for hugging your friends. I'm just going to give you the quote of the day really quick. have to go teach tonight. Hi Doug you, how's it going? How are you today? I feel like this light is really, really bright today. Hey John, hey Suffocan, what's up? We're going to do the quote of the day in just a second. Figured I would let a couple of you come in here first. The quote comes from the Inspiration book by Zig Ziglar. And, hey! And I figure I should fill up my water before I go teach tonight. I missed that last comment, sorry. And I think I'm going to go try to um, visit a yoga studio that I found that might be closer than I anticipated. So, I'm a little bit nervous about that actually. I was hoping some of my yogi edgies would be in here. Um, okay, so what is today's date? The <laughs> I should have checked that first. Today is what? The 5th. Okay. So today's quote comes from Sir Richard Steele. It says, People spend their lives in the service of their passions instead of employing their passions in the service of their lives. Oh boy. This one's good for me for right now. As many of you may know, that's that's a very powerful statement based on the last few days and what I've been going through. So people spend their lives in the service of their passions instead of employing their passions in the service of their lives. So what is that saying to you? Anybody have any feedback on what that might mean or what it strikes you in your personal life before I go on a really quick rant. Anybody? No? Okay, well, pretty much how I interpret it is that many times we get really swept up in a lot of passions of life, like wanting more, 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 like give me more. Mm. And it pretty much is like it runs our life because we just want more and more and more all the time. But if instead we took our passion and applied it to how we could like actually make use of our life. Like when I say serve, I feel like everyone thinks of like religious connotations and I'm not even meaning that. Like if you're serving your life purpose, like what naturally flows out of you and then apply your passions to that then you could like get so much more out of it. This actually, yeah, this is really good for today. This is a very good one. And that's why I'm going to try to go to this yoga studio. I have no idea what to say to the people, so I was hoping that somebody would <laughs> be on here that would help me how they first approach their first yoga studio because I have no idea what to say. And I really want to learn um, more about the actual, like, mental practice of yoga and how to teach in that style, not just a physical description. And I just don't know how to approach it because I don't really care too much about taking classes. Just be yourself. They've heard it all before. That's very true. I, I agree. I do remember when I owned my dance studio, people would come in and... I was glad when people were themselves because some would come in and try to like impress me and I, don't, I had a lot of weirdos that would come into my studio and act like they wanted a job and really um, they didn't care at all for dance. They, they were just looking for money and that's, I understand it's, you know, tough sometimes you try to do whatever you can, but yeah, I want to make sure that it's clear to them that I... I want to learn this because it's like my calling and not 
just another random person mm -hmm. that's like, I'm going to be a yoga teacher. So hopefully that, um, that shines bright today. And that is the, that's me applying my passion of teaching towards the service of my life, which is yet again teaching. Well, I guess like learning new things would be my passion and then teaching would be my service. So I would, I would really think about this today as you do that. And there's a, a couple of other things that applies to in my life, but I feel like if I even open that can of worms, I will never make it to this place. So I'm going to cut it short today. I'm so proud of myself. I'm going to let you go, and maybe I'll see you later, but I do teach tonight till like 7.30, so I'll be gone for a while. Namaste. Love you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, encouragement, John. I really appreciate it. Bye.